Hi, this is David from Patterns in the Cloud, creators of WC AutoShip for WooCommerce. Today I'm really excited to demo for you the new features in version 4 of AutoShip, which includes tighter integration with WooCommerce settings like coupons, shipping, and taxes, as well as taking advantage of some of the newest features in WooCommerce, like the payment token API available in version 2.6, where customers can save credit card, uh, and as well as other payment options for future payments, as well as auto ship order payments. This new method also enables us to support some of the newest payment gateway integrations, some available for free from WooCommerce themselves. Of course, if you're looking for other gateway integrations, as well as uh, other ways to modify WooCommerce auto ship, you can visit our downloads tab and see what kind of plugins and add-ons we have available that might fit your needs and as well as that site that you just saw, our support site at support.wootoship.com, where you can learn more about how to install, set up AutoShip, and different integrations and plugins, like the payments one, for example, where we provide a lot of helpful visual documentation. On the customer side, AutoShip is a pretty simple experience. Customers use your store and your products like normal. AutoShip simply adds AutoShip frequency options so that customers can add simple and variable products to an upcoming auto ship order. Let's add a couple of these to a 30 day auto ship. That's a simple product. Let's go back to the shop and add, say a five pound variant of this two row malt to a bi-monthly order in a quantity of three. Great. Let's check out the cart now. Again, AutoShip isn't doing a whole lot that's special other than making sure that your existing products can be added to future AutoShip orders. As always, you could add a product that's not scheduled for AutoShip and maybe not even available for AutoShip to the cart as well. Let's add this beer boot to the cart. As you can see, AutoShip is still working with your existing shipping settings. Here I have a flat rate shipping as well as a FedEx option that's available taxes being calculated, even coupons. Let's add this auto ship coupon that I'm advertising on our demo store to get free shipping on my auto ship order. Great. Now let's go to checkout. Again, it's a normal WooCommerce checkout. The only difference is you're using the latest features of WooCommerce, including save payment methods through this new payment token API. So if we go to our Stripe gateway and we enter in a credit card, Let's add a test card right here. Save it to the account, place the order. We get an order confirmation just like normal. What's different is in our My Account, we have an auto ship schedule tab now available. This is where the items that we had added to auto ship schedules appear for future order management. Right from the get-go, I can make changes to the calendar so that I can push out the date if I'd like for a future auto ship order, or I can pause an order so I can resume it later when I'm ready. Drilling into the order itself, we have that two-row malt that I had added to my 60-day order. We can change quantities. We can add any other item that's also available for auto ship to the order. Let's add some yeast to this order. And as you can see, even though my shipping options can still keep up and calculate different shipping rates, just like I could in the cart, my free shipping that I applied with my auto ship coupon code is also working. Those save payment methods also available for a future auto ship order. Easy to manage. That tight integration with WooCommerce also pays off too. This payment method tab, new in WooCommerce 2.6, is where my payment methods are stored. I had saved a couple of these earlier, again, test credit cards and test PayPal accounts. But if I'd like to add a new one, all I have to do is click that button, add a new PayPal account, or set up a new credit card through Stripe. Multiple payment gateways can be used with both WooCommerce and AutoShip now with the same style of integration. Any payment gateway that tokenizes payments with the WooCommerce payment token API will work with AutoShip. Addresses are also managed in my account. The same with the rest of WooCommerce orders. AutoShip is integrating tightly with WooCommerce to deliver a great experience without altering 
how you offer your products, or the design of your website. On the store admin side of things, AutoShip is easy to enable and packed full of great features. Even this AutoShip activity log that's included as a dashboard widget can really be used to help keep you abreast of what's going on with your AutoShip customers and schedules. Using the AutoShip reports included with WC AutoShip, you can review things like your AutoShip customers, their orders, schedules, and make bulk action changes to those schedules. Those same actions, pausing, activating, deleting, updating the order date, the coupon, all of that's available to the admin as well. Including that is the ability to log in and look at the customer schedules as the admin. You see, if I scroll down on the schedules page and find that customer that I was just logged in as to set up schedules for, for AutoShip, I can click on the schedules link, move over to that tab, and actually logged in as the admin, see and make changes on behalf of that customer to their AutoShip order, which is great for customer service workflows. Also, to give you a peek into just how easy it is to enable AutoShip on any WooCommerce product, let's go ahead and edit one of these products really quickly as the, the WordPress admin. Logging down, I can see for this simple product on my product data, there's an AutoShip tab. I simply enable AutoShip options for that product clicking here. Then I have some high level control over what kind of frequency thresholds can be worked with as potential AutoShip uh, frequencies and I can set a default if I'd like that to appear immediately when the page loads. For variable products, not much different. I can look at a, any variable product that already exists on my site and with AutoShip activated on my website, I can see that I can enable AutoShip on the variable product as well as even in the variations themselves set special AutoShip pricing to incentivize purchase of the auto ship option on my website. Auto ship integrating tightly with WooCommerce is able to be accessed through the WooCommerce settings pages. On the checkout page, you'll see what payment gateways you have enabled for your website, as well as any auto ship payment gateways like Stripe. On the WC auto ship tab, you can manage the basic settings for auto ship, including your license keys, messaging, Coupon fields can be shown or disabled in terms of viewable by the customer on their AutoShip schedules page. Uh, very important are the AutoShip emails, which notify customers optionally about upcoming AutoShip orders or payment failures or things that are important to know about when you are um, scheduled for future AutoShip orders. If you have any AutoShip add-ons, you'll see those added to the WC AutoShip add-ons tab. Those slick uh, dropdowns and uh, radio button displays help you modify and control how AutoShip options look and are offered on your site. And that's available as a free plugin on wooautoship.com. Just check out downloads. Thanks for your time. I hope you check out wooautoship.com. Please go ahead and visit our live demo, traderjoeys.com. If you'd like to see the store that I set up my order with, feel free to place a test order on there and test drive the AutoShip experience yourself.